So this is dead money. It's been a few days since I streamed. I'm uh, a little rusty. I had to set up some more stuff. So I use my stream starting soon thing, which I've never done before. So uh, let's go. This is where we left off last time. We went into the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker. To, oh, hey Eddie, how you doing? To do our dead money. So I'm planning on making a pretty big impact in dead money today. Like a big, um, not impact, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, do a lot of it today. Uh, dead money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. A one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that erodes health over time. Companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers, level 20 plus. If up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre grand opening awaits, and has been for 200 years. I think I'm level 14. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, so hardcore mode I'm on, so... Let's give it a go. Let's see how far I can make it. Right. Ooh. Oh. Nope, can't go in here. Dropbox empty. Can't unlock that. My character's uh, science is way too low. Alright, here we go. You are no longer dressed as a member of the NCR. Alright, I'll follow that. The character's nose was sticking through it anyway. Oh no, I lost Eddie! Alright, so Eddie saw me get gassed. Eddie just saw me get gassed and dropped to the floor. He just turned around, he was out of there. Like, oh, nope, see you later, goodbye! See ya, Eddie. I'll come back for you another time. Fallout New Vegas. Dead money. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. Mm -hmm. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. Oh, the no. war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Alright, I loved this DLC when I first played it. I've played it twice, I think. I, um, I really, really like it. I know some people hate it, but I like it. Good. Hollow Rifle. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Collar? What are you talking about? It's like that pit boy on your wrist. Except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Okay. Uh, so I'd also like to point out, I haven't streamed for a few days, so I'm quite rusty. So it might take me a little bit to get back into it. Alright, get some stretches out. Uh, what do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre. I see it. Sea. Big building. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. 
But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. So I need others to pull the up uh, there, but that. So I need others to pull off this heist. Who? Around the villa are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. Okay. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Okay, just doing some more testing stuff. Uh, Alright, so find the other three people with bomb collars, bring them back here. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your pip boy in case you forget. I will. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Doubt it. How am I supposed to find them? Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I've ensured. It can latch onto the signal of the callers and tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. Well, that's good. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. There's a random noise there. Ah, uh, that's all I need to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, me. Let my voice remind you. Alright. Oh, hey! Oh, alright, see ya. Alright, find Collar 12, Christine. Oh, the ghost people! Forgot about the ghost people. Oh, I got a gun, cool. I put no points into guns this playthrough, that's great. Vending machine. This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and a list of consumables the machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There is a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Okay, I think you need Sierra Madre chips to activate those. Alright, let's see how I go against the coast people. Outside, you may notice your visual pulse get dizzy. It's the cloud. Eat your inside slowly. Too much exposure. Death. Well, thanks for that. Find me and we can talk. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Okay. Oh, almost missed the chip. Alright. Ooh. Oh, a knife spear. Ow. Okay, just having a look around. I'm trying to find anything. Anything I can use. Find, I can't read that, in the simplest of beasts, find gold, oh, I, I know, I know what that is. Alright, so you gotta blow their limbs off to kill them, I remember that. Grab everything here. They had like a stick. That one. Let's go. Alright. Melee character. Got my melee weapon. There we go. Grab all the chips. Yum, 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 yum.
I love the atmosphere of this DLC, though. I really do. Someone's going hard on that bell, though. Find dog in the simplest of beasts. Or find god in the simplest of beasts. Okay, you can stop ringing the bell now. Oh, I forgot about that! That's right, I need to switch back out of this. It's, uh, is that it? There's like, ra radios can set off your bomb collar. Radios and speakers. I can... Yep. Completely forgot about that. Alright. Is it that one? Let's get rid of that. And... God, since my character has no points put into guns at all, it's really wavy. Like, I'm not touching the stick. Alright. Nah, we don't agree any of that. This makes my stomach hurt. Where? Don't know where it is. Ah, oh, and these give you the vending machine code so you can buy more stuff from the vending machines. Okay. What's this? We know. Anything interesting? I uh, got the weapons and the mines in today, along with the shotguns and the ammo, enough to defend the villa if trouble breaks out. Sinclair's taking the world situation uh, seriously, even all the way out here. Maybe more so, because we're out here. Hate to think if someone got their hands on half the stuff we have stored here. Enough military ordnance here to turn the villa into a minefield. Hey Kendall, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing alright. I just woke up, and I haven't streamed for a few days, so I'm completely, like, bewildered. Like, uh, that's not the right word. I'm completely like, bleh. Also, my view account thing's, uh, my view account thing's broken again. So, it still only says one viewer for me on Twitch. Like, on the actual Twitch source. Even though I know there are more people than that watching. Just hopping by. Oh, you're live as well. Oh, that's good. Well, have a good stream. Uh, if you're still streaming. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I had to, um, I had to get it cut. Because, uh, it was just too long. It grows up instead of down. Uh, if you're still streaming when I'm done, I will raid you. If not, I have a really good stream. It's, um, yeah, I hope I can fix my, my viewer thing, though, because, you know, I'd like to get my average viewers up to 3, even though it's, like, at 1.9, because it just doesn't work properly. So, even though I know you're here, it still only says one viewer, so, but thank you for stopping by. That's my problem to deal with. Uh, I hope I can join into your stream later. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, it is. But it is what it is. I can't really do anything about it. Oh, you have the same thing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's annoying. Um... Yeah, well, anyway, I, I should probably get back to this. Uh, you have a really, really good stream, though. I have to really make some uh, time into this game, because I missed the, my last few stream days. Entertain your one viewer for a few minutes? Sure thing, mate. Hello, Kendall's one viewer on his stream. How are you doing? I mean, I can't I can't see your answer, if you do answer, because you're not in my stream. But hope you hope you're having a good day. Kendall's great. He's a, he's a great person. He's really good that he raids people. I keep forgetting to raid people. That's my problem. So uh, hopefully I'll remember to raid him when it's done. Anyway, I'm playing the Fallout New Vegas Dead Money DLC, which is, uh, in my opinion, really, really good. But a lot of people don't like it. Right, I better keep going now. Ah! Get away while you can before he comes back. I need to find the radio that is causing my collar to possibly explode. All right. Oh. All right, do I go? Is it in here? Is it in this room? No, I need a key. All right. I saved it, so I'm just going to run in and see where it is. Radio, radio, radio. Oh, wait. It's not going off now. Oh, it's over here. Where is it? Where is it? All right, well, I didn't find it. Alright, well, I don't need to go in there yet. I'm going to talk to um, the, the night kin in here. Oh, there. There we go. Found it. Let's go talk to... No, I didn't find it, apparently. There's another... Oh, there it is. 
I just hurt myself. Alright, hey, what's your name? Oh, you're no, he's on the His name's Dog and God. Hello! Oh, wait, no, I think I need to find the, um, I need to find the holotech first, that's right. Okay, I think it is down here. Right, I'm gonna run out of shots in my holo rifle. Knew you would come below the cage, down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. Wait, is that right here? to lock him up. He keeps disobeying me. What the hell is it? I don't know where it is. Oh well. Get me on. I'm also extremely blind, so. You'll leave this lurking? Alright, yep. Thank you so much, Kendall. Thank you for dropping by. I'll, I'll drop- if you're still streaming later, I'll drop by later. I'll, I'll try and raid you if I remember, but I probably won't. <laughs> Sorry, I have a very bad memory. Alright. We'll see, it's all good, thanks. That's oh. me. There it is. On the table. It didn't. The disc. There we go. Right, boys. Can't take any chances, though. You may be there it is. That's what the dog command table down here. If so, can't let you let dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you. Hi, hey, Rish, how you doing? That pip boy over uh, there. no, it all just oh, fell out. Clever. Yeah, no, I got a haircut. It was getting way too long. I am gonna regrow it out though. Take my voice to the Thanks, by the way. I think it's a little too short, to but the beast inside. Oh, well. Then you and I, we can talk. I do this in a cycle. Like I want a cycle of growing it out and then cutting it short again. I kind of do that because I don't really like getting haircuts that much. And I do like having long hair. But it's just a lot of work to maintain it. Alright, where is the... Where is Dog? There he is. Alright, so the way you talk to him is you go into Misk and you use the Dog command tape. Dog, back in the cage. Oh. What have we here? You warned so, me I was... So, pause for a second and explain this. This character has a split personality. He has two personalities in one. He has Dog and God. So God can talk and is smart. Dog wants control, and I think Dog wants destruction. I don't really remember, but I'll let the game explain it. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Oh, trust me, an idiot can figure it out, because I did. you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. I had to resync my mic there for a second, so I'll just check and see if it's still working. Mic test quickly. Sorry about holding up the stream for a second. I have to do this every now and then. Wait. There we go. Alright, it's working again. So every time I resync my microphone, I have to change the monitor and output. Sometimes it just completely mutes my mic, even though the mic doesn't have the mute option. Uh, what happened to your voice? I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his conscience. Keep him tame, keep him from hurting us, doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time, then you come along and let me out. Oh, well, the cage isn't open yet, mate. You're still you locked in there. My cage for a reason. Oh, well, not this cage. He's talking about his yeah. mental cage. I Oops. want to know why. Oops. 
I don't have I have no points in anything because this playthrough has been an absolute failure. Uh, if you don't know, I've been doing a low intelligence melee playthrough because I wanted to do something different. It hasn't worked out well at all. There's been a whole bunch of quests I haven't been able to finish because my character isn't good enough in stats. So I'm just going through the DLCs now and then I'll just wrap up New Vegas and then I'll play it again later on in the future and do it properly. Um, what are you exactly? You're acting different than before. Dog and I take turns in the cage. One steps out, the other goes back in. Now, what do you want? I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where is your collar? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Sorry about the mask clicking. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again. Tugging like a leash. Interesting. Uh, if that collar inside you is active, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. How the hell did you, or whoever, eat one of these collars? They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. Ugh. And if they're attached to neck flesh... Red those well, scorpions! Red. Attack! Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside. Alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Maybe you shouldn't go around shoving old world tech in your stomach. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over. And that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. I need to get you out of there. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, will settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. If you don't come with me, he'll set off our collars. Yours and mine. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. I love this follow character. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man... Might be my favorite character in Fallout New Vegas. On, to the past, Probably to alongside Mare. the scientists in Old World Blues. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. I could order Dog to come with me, I bet he'd obey. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. I can't leave until we get through this. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. Uh, do you know how I got here? Of course. And do you know what happened to Eddie? Do you know why Eddie left me? Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls. The click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves. Any more than Dog can help himself. 
You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Ah, uh, Eddie got scared away by Dog. That makes sense. Why do you say I'm the same as the old man? Also, this says a lot of dialogue, this game. You're not him anymore Obviously. than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Ah, forget it, I had other questions. Of course you do. And so do I. Oh, I remember how to get him out. I remember, I remember. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of talking to him? How do I get out of the dialogue box? Let me go! I don't know how to get out of the dialogue box. I'm trapped. That one. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. I have to play the hollow tape. The, cage, the old the man gave to me to get Dog falls, to come back the to the, of the in control. Colors. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Has he said this already? I don't remember. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No, Dog does it. Yeah, there, there is a lot of dialogue in the fetch. DLCs. Dog fetches. Lonesome Road's probably the worst. man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But, it must have been recent. Before the cage. So you know the way back? The way back doesn't matter. I've been talking to for like 10 minutes. Try to disobey. And your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can... I can find the way back, if back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death... That's just describing Australia. Mate, I, I already live in a beautiful paradise full of toxins and death. Alright, I'm used to it. How do I get out of this dialogue box? This old man, what do you know about him? Elijah, human. I'm sorry, we've been like talking for a while. You are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name meaningless running out of years hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched big by empty. the sun go there in a few days when i do our world blues scorched by the sun the old man this elijah tried to hold the sun in his hands well that sounds stupid arrogance was cast down for the sun's like this big, but to fly too the high. sun's like at least four times Elijah. bigger than this. Elijah wanted to bring the sun down Stupid to him. Joke. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Arrogance. Ah, uh, what is he doing here? I don't remember this being so long. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. By an exploding radio? Out it's more than a story comes to this shining poisonous grail, this jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for master's affection. God. 
God. I think I'm just repeating myself. So you're the one who knows how I got to the villa, even though he's already explained it like three different times. Of course I know. Oh, wait. Yeah, he said this already. Me. Uh. That one. Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. Your lucky dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. Oh my god, I need to get you out of there. No. I got order dog to come with me. I had other questions. Why did you lock yourself in the cage? No. Why Alright, I'm just gonna skip through some of this dialogue because he's kinda just repeating himself. Basically he's saying, um Basically he's saying that um dog ate the key. Dog what he knows, then when he's feeding. Oh, he wasn't... He didn't... No, he's got it on him somewhere. I don't think he ate it. Uh, who are you waiting for? Don't place... The old man... You're the same Sorry I'm skipping all the dialogue. I'm just trying to move the game on a little bit. Oh, it's the same as before. Again, I'm stupid, so I'm just... Um... Dog. I can tell Doggy has the key if he hears the old man's yes. voice, which is what I'm trying to do, but I can't bring my pit boy up while I'm talking this dialogue box. The old man. I can play his voice, yes, I have an audio log from him on my pit boy. You don't play it. No. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until Goodbye, whoever you are, I'm going to let Dog out of his cage. No, 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 don't. I'll make you suffer for this. I promise you. Although it may not matter, I suspect the Sierra Madre will be reward enough for ones like you. Play Elijah audio tape. Master, the dog not hear you coming. Now he's swapped the other personality. Too hungry now. At cage door. Master, dog is listening. Now you are close and he can hear you over hunger. Dog, hidden on you is the key. Find it and toss it to me. Dog, dog doesn't have a... Hmm. Here it is. Dog, dog didn't know it was there. How did it get there? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not saying that. Just give me the key. You want out of the cage, don't you? Yes, Master. Master sounds different. Quieter. Master. I'm not quiet, trust me. I've blown Dog out this mic so many times. In the cage anymore. Dog will be good this time. Dog promises. Fine, let's go. Follow me! Yes, Master. Dog waited a long time. Brought you many people. Dog will follow. Alright. Dog has given you the benefits of its ravenous hunger. Ghost people are difficult to kill unless dismembered or disintegrated. If Dog is in the party, however, Dog will devour them, preventing them from getting back up. Alright, give me one quick second. There we go. I just had to recheck something quickly. I need to get... I cannot wait until I can get a mixer and an XLR mic. Because this is a pretty expensive mic, but it's a USB one, so I just have issues with it. XLR also sounds much better to me. Um, yeah. So, Dog can also give you another ability as well. Um, if you, um... If he eats a bunch of ghost people, I think he, um... He gives you a better ability, make, makes it easier to dismember them. It's kind of like Dead Space in a way. You can only really kill them if you cut their limbs off. There we go. Dog, get him! Dog, get him! Oh my god. Alright then, Dog. Alright, Dog's not getting him. I don't know where Dog went. Uh, I need to get my melee weapon out. That's all I know how to do. There's Dog. Alright. Oh, I forgot what my guy looked like. Oops. Oh, Dog's eating him right now, if you can see that. He's just having a snack. I'm crippled. Oh, I forgot I need doctor's bags to fix my crippled limbs. There you go, dog. Oh, the bear trap fist. I forgot about that. It's just a bear trap on your fist. I think that's like an... Is that... Yeah, that's an... You need unarmed. Like, higher unarmed skill to use that, though. I have a melee skill, so I'll use this one. 
I'll take it anyway. Alright, hello. Uh, let's, let's keep going. I don't remember how he actually gives you the um, other ability. I think he just has to eat a certain amount of ghost people, maybe. But he basically keeps them down. He dismembers them for you. Alright, we have to get the other two people. Food! Sounds like me when I arrive at a barbecue. Food! Took his arm clean off. Inside's growling. Inside's growling. Same here, mate. That's my dog barking, by the way, that Mike picked that up. Hopefully someone's out there with her, because she can escape out the gate now. She's figured out how to get under it. Don't like this place. Want to go back. Back to the base. Pretty circle on machine. All glowing. That's all sparkly glowing. So, alright, let's go. You can come with me to get the next person. Who is... Dean Domino, yep. I remember Dean. Alright, do I have any stim packs on me? Like, just to get my health up? I have one. There we go. I have never done dead money on hardcore. This is my first ever hardcore playthrough. Oh, hold on. Oops. I wanted to keep a save of me before I went into dead money in case I got stuck. So I could do the other DLCs, but it looks like I'm committed now. Alright. it up. Where is he? Oh, I already searched him. Never mind. Alright. Dean Domino. Domino Dean. Dean Dean Domino. Dom Dom Domino Dean. No. Oh, my toxic bag. Oh, the 55 chips. Alright. How do I get to Dean? I think it's this way. Yeah, it's in here. Alright, residential district. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Oh! Thanks, Elijah. Alright, I wish I had the light foot perk now. Inside's growling. Oh, wait, hold on. I think God's ability is actually not detonating, um... I think God's ability is to, like, give you the light foot ability, basically. Dog, if it isn't the, the clever one... Oh, yeah, I know, you're not talking to me. What do you want? Alright, that's enough for now. We'll see. You've lost the benefit of Dog's ravenous hunger. God has given you the In My Footsteps perk. This perk grants you a bonus to stealth as well as the ability to step lightly around place traps. That will help me a lot. Okay, this way? Yeah, see? These would have gone off and destroyed me. Same with this. Alright, I've got to grab some more chips because I have to get a doctor's bag. Thanks, God. Thanks for telling me you're gonna rip my arm off. Oh, can't go in there. That's the poisonous cloud. That is dangerous. That is death. We do not want to go in there. I'm just disarming him for the small amount of XP it gives me. Nice dodge. There we go. Hug the wall. Don't want to. Don't want to get them. Don't want. Don't want that. To, there we go. Don't want to breathe in any of that. 
Okay, so if I remember correctly, when you're talking to Dean... Uh, actually, I'll hold off on that. I'll tell you after, when I get to it. Ooh. I'm just, I'm just risking it. Just risking it. There we go. Alright, when you're talking to Dean, you, um, you don't want to say anything that will insult him or upset him. For, uh, events later on in the DLC. You can if you want, though, but that's just what I, like, it's just, I, my arm is broken. It's a, it's a, different people play the game differently. Oh, it's just unconscious. There we go. There we go. He would have got back up. Yeah, I know I need a doctor's bag. Where the hell? Oh, he's up there. He's in that room, if I remember correctly. I love this DLC so much. I didn't get the chip. Okay. There we go. It's your own fault you're here. I couldn't leave well enough alone. I found an abandoned bunker and walked towards a radio. Hope that tourist is hurrying had not caught all day. Oh, looks like an email. I'll look at that later. Oh! How come you can have a radio on and it doesn't blow your head off? Beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. Better be a shaped charge or you're gonna kill both of us. Sounds like you've done some blue collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be proud. Still, get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cheddy pie red. Nice rhyme. So, let's keep this sweet and polite. And finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. Oh wait, no. Uh, you also don't want to use speech checks on him either. Uh, Miss Sun. Um. Christ! If that collar blows, I don't know if you'd know the difference. You'd probably still keep walking around with that dumb, blank look. That's how I walk around Just every day, mate. Just because I work in entertainment. Doesn't mean I'm a moron. Means I am. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'll cooperate. What do you want? Good, good, then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. Fine, meet at the fountain. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. I'm not walking out there on my own. I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir. They're, they're not around anymore, mate. So we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. Fine. Get up and follow me. All right, all right. But you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the Wait, side. what? Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way. Hold on, wait a minute. He's all like, I'm not going alone. No way. We're going together or not at all. All right, let's go together. You already have someone with you. I'll meet you at the fountain. Ta-ta. What a weirdo. 
It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through. Alright, come on, God. Ow. Ghost people. Ugh. Made it. Okay. So this way. I'm nearly dead. I have to keep an eye on my health. That pip boy. Maybe I'll tear it off. God, you've already said that. Alright. Do I have any more stim packs? Have I picked any up at any point? Yeah, I know what ammunition is. Okay. I'm gonna die. I don't have any stim packs. Oh, I did. Alright, we gotta go get the other one now. Punches them to bits. Kills. Ah, right, you wait here, Dean. Me and God will handle this. Hey, hold on. Come here. Are you listening? From now on, when I talk, there you go. You I just switched him back to dog. I've left markers on your pit boy. Find the three other callers in town. Eight, twelve, and fourteen. Get them to the fountain. Obey me, and you can all go free. Medical district. Oh, I might find stim packs in here. The village comm speakers have aged poorly, like the madre. Pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. That's one of them. Hope the voice doesn't come back. Alright. These things too, I think. I think they can be bad at some point. Can't go that way. Oh, I just got him right in the spine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. And I think I just hit a pillar, maybe. Can I pick those up? There we go. I had to get his head off. Alright. Let's switch back out to the throwing knife spears. I'm using these throwing knives to, um... To hit the speakers. So I don't have much ammo on my hollow rifle. Alright, where am I get... Alright, where is it? Inside's growling. That's not it! <laughs> yeah, okay. We're back at the start of the medical district now. Yeah, I know, mate. Poorly, like the Madre, pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Oh, I went. I moved straight into that. Oh God, he's throwing them quick. He is throwing them real quick. All right. Ow. I'm nearly dead. I am almost dead. I'm so close to death. Hey, I think I just I came from this way. All right, hold on. Swallowed something bad. Tastes like burnt wires. They don't eat burned wires. All right, this is where I got stuck. Let's have a look and see where it is exactly. It says it's up there. That's why I'm going by this thing. It says boom. Alright. Let's have a look. Quick look. 
There it is. Got it. I thought I was gonna hit the railing. Where is Master? Did he go away? I'm right here. Dog will be good this time. What's in here? Oh! A poison cloud. It almost killed me. I have like no health. What's in here? Anything that could be handy. I know you can return cigarettes and things. Should have never left home. Right on that. Food. Okay, I held up a little bit. Cram. Open beans. Is that one over there? Oh wait, hold on, I remember what those hands mean. This is the, the Dean Domino stash. It keeps things, yeah. You, moron, I found one in the police station. I didn't even look. Using all those stim packs. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, you can't pick them up once you've thrown them? Boo. All right, where is the thing? I'm gonna save it in case I die again. Okay. I've done 15 hours of New Vegas streaming? It doesn't seem like I've done that much. Alright, where is this thing? Found him. Alright, this is where I'm going. Villa Clinic. Picking up a new meta signature. Watch for security holograms. Oh, I've got holograms as well! Them. Attacking them is useless. Oh! I completely forgot about them. Alright, so you can also get a code, I think, in here for the stim packs to get them from the um, vending machines. Is that it there? Yeah, there we go. I knew it was somewhere in the clinic. I didn't think it'd be in the first room. Ow. Target. Is that one going in there? No. I've gone back up there. Okay. Sides Same, mate. Ugh. People missing heads. Make a mistake. I could take everything they have, even though I'm not even looking at what they got. I'm just taking it all. Stim pack and some water. What is this? Well, that looks cool. Smells like burnt sparks and blood. Excuse me. That looked awesome. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. What's down here? Can't go down there. Alright. Maybe there's a key somewhere. But I don't think that's important. Let's keep having a look around. Yes. Heal all my crippled rooms, please. Adrenaline to cure exhaustion. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I think the one we I think the woman we're looking for is in one of those auto docks. I think so. Where is Master? Did he go away? Dog will be good this time. Don't know where the beefy McDeepy is. Where? No! No! Didn't make it. 
got to do the auto dock again. I'll do the auto dock again and save it so that doesn't happen. Oh, I just saw a dog's body with no head and that was sad. Oh wait, did I save it? I did save it. Alright, well I don't remember saving it. I did though. How do I turn off those speakers? Is it on the terminal? Ghastly. No, that doesn't matter. Safety suits. No, none of that matters. Alright. Move, dog. Maybe it's up here. Oh! I do that all the time, mate. Okay. Our dog hunted back west for Lou. Who's Lou? Right, I could take the other stairs, I guess. Inside's growling. So I'm going to stop the recording and start it again. Alright, I just have to wait for it to start up. Oh! Okay. Anything in here? No, nope. I think there's a way to turn them off, but I don't have a high enough, like, stat for anything, really. Good, I can. Disable the middle. There we go. I thought that was science, but no, it was just repair. Okay. Phew. Cosmic knife. Actually, the cosmic knife might be pretty good. <gasps> Basement key. That one. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank Where you. is Master? Did he go away? Dog will be good this time. Thought I was just opening a door. A rare lockpick in New Vegas. There we go. Oh! Ah! I don't think I've hacked any terminals at all in this New Vegas playthrough. Appointment calendar. Don't really care. Swallowed something bad. Tastes like burnt wires. Stop eating burnt wires, mate. Wrong door. Share and share alike. Alright, let's head on down to the basement. God, I've been streaming for over an hour already. God, doesn't feel like it. Use the key. It's dark down here. I don't know why I picked up the Abraxo cleaner. I don't know why I did that. Uh, oh, disengage main power. That is probably what turns it all off. There we go. Oh, I had a goal to do that. I didn't. Know, I didn't pay attention to that. My webcam's covering it as well. But it's the only real place I can put it for a Fallout game. Inside's growling. Hello. This one. Hi. Ah, uh, I dog. I am inside dog. Dog, dog. I can see the inside of your head, mate. Ah, uh, oh, I can see the back of your eyes and the back of your lips. Hey, Christine, how you doing? Don't mind me. Me and dog, we have fused into one being. We, 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 we are super dog. Who are you? She looks at you, blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. She touches her throat, then traces the scar beneath her chin. Her eyes widen in alarm. Look, I'm here to help. She looks shaken. As she glances at the auto dock, she recoils and her mouth opens, but again, nothing comes out. 
She looks back at you, and her hands clench into fists. Her eyes narrow. She takes a step back. I think she said studying you? This isn't what it looks like! The woman opens her mouth again, winces, then frowns, and drags a finger across her throat in slow motion. She looks more angry than pain now. Frowning, she touches her throat again gently, and then her hand brushes her collar, and her throat deepens. Frown deepens. Her eyes narrow, she traces the edge of her collar until she finds a look, she begins to press it with her fingers. I'm reading it faster because I'm getting left behind. It's a bomb collar. Mess with it, it'll go off. She looks surprised and notices your collar and raises alarm. Uh, I, my mic might have been muted then. I was resyncing it while she was talking. Uh, hold on. Monitor and output. Every time I do that, it goes all staticky in my ears and it really hurts. It hurts my brain. It gives like a little sound that's like, ugh. Doesn't sound right. I don't like it. One second. So I would resync my mic again. I hate having to do this so many times. Come on, get my. T there we go. All right. Because my download speed is awful, my stream is really far behind where I'm. Um, it's like twenty seconds behind where I'm. Uh, monitoring it, so I have to wait 20 seconds or so until it catches up to where I'm up to to test my mic again. Uh, let's just say we're in this together. She frowns, narrows her eyes, and slowly shakes her head. We need to cooperate if we're going to get out of here. She shakes her head again and draws a line in the air between the two of you. Y yeah, I, I think she's trying to say to separate me and Dog from being one abomination of combined flesh. That I'm still inside, dog, by the way. Look, together we can get out of this. Shakes her head once, then crosses her arms. Look, I'm not trying to order you, but your life is tied to mine. She frowns, glances at the collar, looks back at you. She makes a circle with her hands and puts her hands over her eyes. Oh, like this. She nods at you, then lowers her hand from her eyes, shakes her head, then draws a slow line between you. You're looking for something else. Fine, I can help. She studies you again, then her expression softens slightly. She shakes her head slowly and gives a silent sigh. She nods at you, then raises her people's eyebrow and nods at the door. Alright, come with me. Actually, no, meet me at the fountain. I'm standing with Dog. We're in this together now, me and Dog. Meet me at the fountain, then we'll go from there. Christine gives a brief nod, then turns and begins to walk. There we go. Hey, I'm free! We were separated. It's like... It's like I was Zekrom and you were QRM, right? Ah, uh, that's a that's a reference. Oh my god, that game came out ten years ago. Get rid of that. All right. That was seventy. Put my medicine up. That's what I'm working on now. Done. Oh hello. Christine stops. Glance at the speaker, then glances at your collar, Browning. It's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one, it'll go off. She taps the collar and then opens and closes her hand really fast. She taps her collar, then opens and closes her hand really fast. She points at your pit boy, her collar, and then your collar. After a second, she opens and closes her hand slower. I don't understand. She tries to open her mouth and nothing comes out. Her eyes narrow and her hands fall into fists. She touches her collar, and shakes her head in frustration, and nods at you to go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry, my character's intelligence is really low. He's got the comical cartoon band-aid on his head. Like someone just bonked him with a hammer. Alright. I did the hand really fast thing twice. I don't know why. Um, let's go... Ah, uh, this way. Okay. I'll follow her. She seems to know the way back. She's also really fast. Here's babe. Let's go!
I am getting so many knives in the back right now. I'm sure Dog can handle it. Ah! Whoa. Ow, he got me. Alright. Safe. Okay. I'm here. We're all here. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be far off in order for the casino doors to open, as I've discovered. One person can't do it. So get your team in position indicated on your pip boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. We'll let out then. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to oh, position me. first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. He's no good to be dead. You have lost the benefit of Dog's ravenous hunger. Dog has gone to the villa fountain. Yeah, I know. He's right there. Quest added. Mixed signals. Oh, mixed signals. Let's give it a little savey save. And then we'll head on down to Gala Town. Hey, come with me. Where are you taking, Dog? Dog doesn't want to leave. Heard Master. Saw Master in Sky. Master's not in the sky anymore. Heard master not there. Woman and Fountain. She is made of lines and light. Want to watch. We need to get you to the Gala event. Get you to your place. Dog. Dog has heard that before. Was there pretty lights? There were things to pull. Hard to pull, but Dog did. And a cage. A really itchy stomach. And dog was that's what I'm doing. I'm scratching my stomach right dog now. I know it looks questionable, but I promise you that's what I'm doing. Else there we go. With dog. Then, then there was noise. Then lights. Then streets. Screams. Dog doesn't want to go to cage. It's inside dog now. Dog can see the cage, hear the noises. The way to casino, it'll hurt you inside. Uh, this is important. Do you remember what happened exactly? Dog can't remember. Don't want to go. Can't make him it's stay It's so difficult. Dog, do you know why you have to go to the position on the map? Hard to pull things? Dog has to pull... Dog... Alright, that's enough for now. Alright. I think God can get there. Are you listening? Wrong one. Dog, back in the cage. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? No, you ain't talking to me. Before you make that joke. Um, I need to get you to your gala event position. Maybe a dog will obey you. I'm not as easily broken. More, don't push your luck. All right, that's enough for now. All right, so I gotta bring, <laughs> bring dog over there. Are you listening? You are the nice oh, no. voice. Yep. Can I talk? Uh, have orders for you for going, staying, all that. I think we should travel together. Dog is ready. Get them Where to the we go. Obey me. All right. Can all go That's how we do it. We get dog to follow us. Okay. You stop sucking, mate. Trust me. All right. I don't want to be here either. Oh, I was looking for one of these. He's getting more stim packs. How much are stim packs? They are 25, that's good. Alright, you can return stuff as well, so I'll return that. 
and I will return that. There we go. So six stim packs. There's three of them. All right, dog, let's go. Ah, Salida del Sol! That's what this place is called. Where's Callisto? Something just exploded. Oh! Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me! I still have these ones equipped. I missed. Oh, just took his head off with one swing. Oh, one, one throw. Again. Turn my torch on as well. Oh! There's bear traps hidden around here too. Alright, so I think for this bit we run along the roof. Maybe? I just saw one of the ghost people climb on the roof like Spider Man and it was terrifying. Yeah, I think we go through that door. Ah! So these people are, um,. I can't really remember the lore behind it. I think they were inhabitants of the Sierra Madre. And they put on these suits to protect themselves from the poisonous gas. But they like got fused into the suits. And I think they might be dead in the suits. Oh, there's a lot of gas going on here. They might be dead in the suits as well. Or they might just be ghouls. I don't remember. But they're stuck in the suits. I can't take them off. My hollow rifle. Did I get any more ammo for it? Any point? Oh, that pistol. I might switch out the pistol then. Where is this? I can't find the beepy thing. All right. I'm just gonna go down here. Nah, you'll be right. Excuse me. There it is. gun does not do much damage at all. I think I might have been hitting dogs up. Oh. I, uh, I may have forgotten companions can die in hardcore mode. I completely forgot about that. I think me shooting him in the arm three times might have also not helped. Alright, well, we're back in the Salida del Sol. I gotta stick with him. I can't just let him go like that. Okay. That was my fault. Alright, hollow rifle. Tastes like wires. Missed. What the hell did he just throw at me? Are you right? Okay, he's fine. A gas bomb. Right, we gotta take out all the ghost people. Let me search. He wasn't dead. That's why I couldn't search him. There we go. Okay. Nope, not that one. That one. All right. I don't know 
why I even went for him. Wow, all right, I'm switching out. Use my knife spear again. Hollow rifle's not working out for me. I'm gonna keep saving it as well, because I don't want dog to die. I have a lunchbox just like that. Oops. I used to have a bobblehead as well. It used to be, uh, I used to, ooh, it used to sit on the dashboard of my car. My friend accidentally snapped him in half. So that was fun. <laughs> stepped on a bear trap. I just stepped on a bear trap. Where's dog? There he is. With hard to pull things, he's mm -hmm. Excuse me. Thank you. Dogger. I got a lot of stuff to fix. Alright, come on. Dog. Dog, hello. Nice voice. Alright, I have to actually get him in here before I can talk to him. Why are we here? Dog not want to be here. Place too much like a cage for dog. If dog was fed like last time, dog would listen. If the feeding was quiet. I need you to stay here and trigger the switches. Dog doesn't understand. Too hungry, hard to hear words. Master. When can dog feed? If dog was fed like last time, dog would listen. If the feeding was quiet, maybe voice could make dog stay. Dog not want to be in cage. Dog want to be free. Find master. Hey. Dog, back in the cage. So here we are. A row of switches all lined up. How familiar. These switches won't move themselves, after all. There must be some trick to it. Now that I'm here, what do you expect me to do? I need you to stay and operate the switches for the Galar event. <laughs> you can lead me to water. No. Being trapped in this courtyard while lights are flashing and sirens are screaming. Headphones are so uncomfortable I can now survive that I have one or two of the inhabitants. More than that, even Dog would have to work to keep full without being carved to pieces. And the gate here, if it somehow got locked, it'd be the holding cell at the police station again. Except with no way out. No way in, no way out. If you won't do it, then Dog will, like he did at the police station. No. This time is different. The key is different. If you needed his teeth to devour those metal switches, chew up the diagram, then let him out. There's a sequence, precise and clear as a knife, that must be followed. And it requires more than instinct to operate. No. You need me here. Out of the cage. Sounds to me if I bring ghost people here, you couldn't handle them. And what would that gain you? Are you so eager to slice off your hand to spite your arm? If that's what it takes to make you listen, yes. So you want me to listen? To obey? No. I can't. Because Dog wouldn't let me. I can already feel him clawing at me. If you want me to remain, then I'll need to stay aware. Enough to operate the switches properly. I... We just need to make sure that Dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, you'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. What kind of food should I bring back? Dog has torn apart a number of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to... Other flesh. 
It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. Kill them. Take some of the remains inside them. Bring it back here. They're not easy to kill. But I have faith in you. And the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. All right, I'll go hunting. See what I can find. I don't want to Two lie to chunks him. of meat from their bodies should be enough. Hunt quietly, so as not to draw more here. All right. Salida del Sol. Okay. <laughs> There's one. I can find another one. Oh, not in there. Looks like Rosie's having a bit of a bit of a barking. I think a barking bonanza, is what I was gonna say. If if that's getting picked up on the microphone, I'm sorry, but she she barks quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm crippled. I did pick up a doctor's bag though, so I'm okay right now, but let me fix my crippled limb again. All my doctor's bags are done. I might as well... No, I don't want to buy another one. I'll buy more stim packs. I don't know. I don't know why she's barking. I don't know what she's barking at. I know why she's barking. She's going for a walk. She always barks for like two or three minutes on her walk. She's so excited. She gets so overwhelmed. She has a heart murmur as well, which is kind of concerning. But her heart's like... She gets so excited to go for a walk that she just barks. She cannot... She just cannot contain her excitement. That's why someone's taking her for a walk. Where is this other... Do I have to walk through here? It's annoying. Her bark is annoying. It is really high-pitched. Oh, I saw it. I saw that out the corner of my eye. I'm getting poisoned right now. There it is. Hello. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. There we go. Got him. your god now no idea you better have brought enough meat you're I can quite feel close mate's teeth tearing at my ribs your teeth look like mine out yes this should be enough you're good at fetching this should keep him where he belongs for now I'll wait send the signal we'll be ready there we go All right, what's my next one? Strike up the band. Ah! I was 
really hope I can make it. Alright, I think I'm a little bit further back. I was just waiting for the beeping to stop and it didn't. Where am I? I'm right here. Oh, I had an auto save. That's good. Phew. Alright, how do I get out of here? Do I just go through here? I hope I'm not lost. Alright, enough. Alright. I think it's this way. I don't think it's empty. What the hell is this thing? Why can't I pick this up? I mean, it's what I'm holding, but I mean... It's on the ground. Why can't I have it? Gracias, Pock. Sufudu. Can't read that word. Alright, Dean. Let's go. Gotta find it first. Huh. <gasps> I mean, poison. Ah, it's not worth it. Okay, never mind. Don't know why I was doing that. I'm thirsty. There you go. All right, Dean. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? You put that bow tie so on your neck, mate. A presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Alright, according to the marker, you're slated for a spot in Puesta del Sol. No. Looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now... It's Mike the last place out. anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place. Rethinking my mic again. Hold on. Summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of. Fix it. If we are going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. That's enough for now. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Didn't think much of our chat. I think we should travel together. Okay. He lets me go through the poison clouds. Come on. Oh. Okay. Here we go, Dean. Puesta del Sol. Let's go. Let's head down the hole. Poking him with a stick, mate. Those gas bombs. Can't go that way. Alright, so I gotta go in there, but I can't. So we'll go... Not that way. Go around the side. This way. Here we go. Oh! 
Oh, I didn't jump, but I still made it. I just kind of fell into the right spot. Alright. Oh, there it is. Just a radio. I can stand in here because I got Dean with me. He somehow makes it so that you don't get poisoned. Cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years, even without cars or factory. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess I can still die. <laughs> Wasn't watching my health. Hey, I'm back here again. All right, let's go again. This one's on fire. This one is on fire, oh my god. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Something's beeping as well. Sure glad one of us knows what you're doing. Thanks. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. I don't remember. I think it's this way. I think we go up on the roofs. I think this is the one where you go on the roof. There's an arrow that points that way, so I'm going to ignore it. Go this way. Ah, aren't the trees lovely this time of year? Ah, oh, that's a dead end. Time to cash this one. My lambs! Where am I? Oh, that's Dean. Oops, sorry, Dean. Alright, hold on, wait. I have to completely figure out where I am. I just got very disoriented. Uh, bleh, don't forget the word. Disoriented, disorientated, I've forgotten. There, the switching station. That's where? where you'll need to bring the mute. Yeah, that's the mute. I'm not bringing the mute, I'm bringing Dean. I thought for a second I might have the wrong quest active. I'll bring Christine after this. Hold on. Here we go. Quest del Sol. Look at we go. This way. Oh, they're throwing those things far. Oh my god. I hope Dean can hold out for a second while I'm just figuring out where to go. Dean is unconscious, apparently. Alright, so we're going this way, and then we end up here. And then up here. You're at the ghoul scaler area. Are. Now make him stay. Dean, come up here! Dean! Damn it! Alright, I gotta stay with him, but I know where I'm going though. I was hoping he could get to me. Well, let's fight him. Where are they? There's one! Look out! Try to sneak up behind ya. Ow. Alright. A bomb went off. I am all about Here he He's dead too. There's another one. Oh, I got an abominable perk. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dean. I thought you were one of them. Do another savey save. Try to center myself on the webcam a little bit too. Come 
You're at the Ghoul Scaler area. Now make him stay. So, this is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks... Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. So, what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands and tap them together like symbols? If reconnected the speakers as part of the gala event, yes! Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. No, no! Any change in Spooky. the sounds around here? Uh, the ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening. Hunting. Killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. Look, I need you to stay here and do it. Oh, hold on. If I clear out all the ghost people in the area, will it change your mind? No. You want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and no, everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. <laughs> I could just throw you off the roof. Let me hunt around. Maybe there's something I can do to protect the area. You can look all you want. I still feel safer with a pair of hologram escorts to make it through the area. All right. Turn on both security holograms. Okay, I'm on it. I can't get in there. Can I not get in here either? Nope. Ooh. Fell. I fell in the cloud. I didn't want to do that. Made it out. Alright, where is the security holograms? Oh, Dean came with me. Okay, I thought he was going to stay there. Okay, so... In here, maybe? Watch out if you see a prize lying around. The ghosts people leave supplies as traps. Oh, good. One thing. Go. Okay, so it's not in here. Where would it be? Didn't I just come from in there? Oh, maybe there, where I was aiming before. Alright. In. I have to try and drop down. I'm nearly dead again. Do I have any stim packs? I have one. I'm gonna eat all that. You know, this used to be a nice town. Well, nice enough. That's good to know. Ah, oh, maybe I go down here. Wait. Mine. For luck. Activate hologram. There you go, that's one of them. Go find the other. There, in there. How do I get up there? How, how, how indeed. Nope. Alright, that didn't work. Hmm. Well, it's not through that door. Let's have a look down here. Maybe we can get up on the roof. I was in here before. It's not right. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Oh! It's a random rat roach. I don't think it's this way. Huh. Alright, how do I get up on the roof? Wouldn't be in here.
Don't dive in for too oh, long. I stood in the cloud by accident. I need to get up there. Yeah, that was it. That was. Oh, let me try this again. Let me try this again. I hope I can get through without dying. There we go. You sure came a long way to rub this place. Guess who? Go down the stairs. I want to try and jump it. Hmm. Simple puzzle that I obviously cannot solve. No, that's not it. This crouching is hell on my knees. Yeah, hold on. I think I like it. I'm gonna try and jump around the railing like no that's not cool oh. jump like ah no didn't work try it one more time try one more thing then I'll look somewhere else I might be being real stupid here I might be being an idiot not able to get up there alright let's give it another go Activate the hologram. How does one... I just need to get on this side of the railing. It can't be jumping around. It has to be, like, going through here. They might have, like, an invisible wall there, though. Like a little bounding box. my head on that if I try and go around. If I try and jump around, I'll just crash into that and fall. I can't really get up any higher, can I? Sure glad one of us Hold on. What you want to do. Listen, Dean, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. No, because if I do this, then I have to try and get out of there. On that side. <sighs> There's some really simple solution that I'm not seeing as well, by the way. So I'm trying to get in there. And I'm trying to get around the roof. But I can't get through here. And if I jump around, I'll hit my head on that thing. Or I'll just completely fall like an idiot. Give it another go around. If I ever had to come here, I stuck to the overhangs and roofs. Like sidewalks. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, mate. The game's trying to give me tips. But I'm already trying to do it. But I'm not smart enough. I'll take those chips though. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I thought this was going to let me up. Damn. I thought I might have gone on to something then. Oh. Got excited for a minute. Yeah, so I can't go this way. Because there's no way over to that route. What am I doing? Can you get the hell out of my way? Up there. I can do it. I can do that. I can do that. I, can help you with the I know I can do that. Sierra Madre is not getting any younger. Neither am I, mate. Wait, this, half the stream is going to be me trying to get around this ledge. That's that's what it's going to be. Maybe it's because I'm crippled. Maybe it's because I'm missing a leg. Maybe I'm just too slow. That could be it. Or maybe I can put my weapon away. I just fell. I just fell off. I just slid off the edge like an idiot. Alright. 
I know I can make that. I know I can. I almost had it. Just, oh, hit my head. All right, hold on. Jump correct. Nope. You sure came a long way. There we go. Got it. I got it. Okay, we're all right. Just don't fall. Do not fall off the edge, please. For the love of. All right, there we go. We're in. We got it. Now we'll get him up there. That took like 20 minutes or something. That was a lot longer than I wanted it to take. But I figured it out. Didn't even have to Google it. Okay. Here we are. Didn't think much about Both holograms are on now. It's safe for you to get to your position. You powered the holograms up? Well. Yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain. Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know. This still sounds risky to me. For me. Vera stayed powered up since the bombs fell. I just got a work. -y. I just got a work message. Hold on. Vera stayed powered up since the bombs fell. Those holograms will too. Well, yeah. You got a point. All right. Look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. Alright, hold on. One second, that's actually, I've got a quite important work thing right now. I need to get some more stim pack. I fell in the thing again! No! I'm leveled up in the cloud. Okay, lucky time has stopped. Alright. Almost a jury rigging. Next level will get me jury rigging. Okay. Yes, thank you. Tag. Ah. Uh... Oh, I already had repair tag. Damn it. Medicine. There we go. We out of the cloud. Oh, I'm almost dead. I am almost dead again. I gotta get Christine. I was trying to remember how to get back to the fountain because I don't have the thing equipped. Okay, where is the fountain? Is it this way? I don't have a marker right now. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die if I go in the cloud. Nah, I'm dead. Okay, how do I go through the cloud? I don't know. I mean, not how do I go through the cloud. How do I get back to the... Oh, is that marker pointing to Christine? No, it wouldn't be. It'd be pointing to the switching station. Is she through this door? Oh, I just came through this door, didn't I? This is the way I came through, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, hold on. Maybe that takes me back to her.
had more stim packs on me than I thought. Thought I only had none. Oh, I thought that was a goddamn mine for a minute. Oh, I think the marker is pointing back to Christine. Hold on. Yeah, town square this way. More of a town circle because it's a fountain. <laughs> hey, Christine, how you doing? Staring at this woman. Same. Whoa, look at all those chips in there. Hold on. I always wanted to do this when I was a kid in those wishing fountains. A card? The Ace of Spades! Got it. If you like to gamble, I'll tell you I'm your man. You win some, lose some, it's all the same to me. He's passed away now. Christine is looking at the fountain, her eyes narrow. She then scans the courtyard perimeter, gauging the distance. She glances at your wrist, then back at the fountain. Uh, that's our captor, he likes giving orders. She circles her thumb around the fountain and moves her fingers and thumb together rapidly, as if talking. She frowns, stops moving her hand, then points at the pit boy at your wrist. We need to trigger the event like he says. Christine holds her hand uh, holds out her hand and motions at your pit boy. Oh that is a no no naughty word. I ain't saying that. Show her the pit boy. Christine studies the pit boy intently, showing your arm turning your arm around as if your wrist is sensor module she just found. She doesn't seem interested in the screen, she studies the exterior, then the casing. She seems to be making sure it's intact. Careful, that's my arm, alright. Her finger stabs through the red buttons, narrowing in on the local map. She scrolls to the Sierra Madre's main gate, frowns, then backs out. She calls at the local map and does a switching station, zooms in her attendance person, loses some of her attention, she notices the marker. Notice the marker. She looks up at you, as she looks up at you, points at your marker and your pit boy, points west, and tilts her head. I thought you said west. You sure seem eager to go. She points at the fountain, then at your pit boy, pauses, then points at her collar, then yours. She encircles her throat with her hand, then slowly releases it. She then motions again to the west. Why do you think he wants you to go to the Puesta del Sol switching station? She frowns, then makes a motion as if typing at keys, and then she talks at you, raises her left wrist and pants up. She points at you, then her. She looks le right and left, raises two fingers, tries to type, pauses, then slowly shakes her head. I only got through half of one of those paragraphs. That's why I spoke really quickly on the longer one. I don't know what you're talking about. She sighs silently, then shakes her head and motions to the west. Uh, things would be a lot easier if you did one snap for yes, two snaps for no. She smiles humorlessly. She then nods once slowly. She then shakes her head slowly. She then looks at you, her face wrinkled in a humorless smile. Goodbye. I gotta travel with her now. I think we should travel together. Christine has given you the signal interface perk. This perk grants you a short period of time near a speaker before your bomb collar starts to activate, as well as increasing the amount of time before your bomb collar detonates by 50%. Alright. I didn't... Oh, I did grab her, actually. I was about to say, is she following me? But then I just remembered I read the perk out. I'm stupid. Alright. I do have enough for another stim pack. That's good. It's like me in high school at the Pepsi machine. Just keep coming back and grabbing them. I spent so much money on soft drink when I was younger. I'm s I do not drink it anymore. Very, very rarely. I had a can of Pepsi last night. And one a couple of weeks ago when I was playing Kingdom Hearts. That's it. I used to have a serious addiction to soft drink. I gained a lot of weight. It, it wasn't good. It was, it was really bad. I'm not going to read those while I'm actually in gameplay. That way. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're out of the cloud. And we're about to go straight back into it again. The switching station. There it is. Dangerous getting her in here. Hello. Sweat appears on her brow. Why? What the hell is that? Is there a speaker in here? Repair the electrical boss box to gain access to the rest of the situ switching station. This thing. Aha! Jiri rigged the circuit breaker. 
After a few quick adjustments, the power comes back on. There you go. Fixed. Alright, was that it? Tick, tick, tick. Where is this thing making all the beeping sounds? Oh. There was nothing I could do by that point. Okay. My eyeball is right there next to my foot. Oh, God. Gross. Oh, I don't like eye stuff. I don't like eyeball stuff. All right. Just drink that while I'm here. Two of those in a rattle right Um. Okay, let me fix this again. And then we'll just do this. Oh, I gotta swap out to my gun, actually. I'll use the, um, I'll use the police pistol while I'm here. Just to find the, uh, the beep beep. Pick one of them. Oh yeah, I am still crippled. I keep forgetting that. Down there? In a cloud? Yeah, she doesn't want her. God. That way. Alright. I can't go under that. Where exactly am I? What am I doing? Alright, hold on. I don't think I'm supposed to go over here. That arrow lied to me. I'm losing so much health right now. I'm gonna die. I'm not getting out of this in time. So close. She's fine. I'm just gonna roll down the stairs if you don't mind. Wait, you lied to me, Arrow. Alright, I'm making it out this time. Alright, there we go. That arrow keeps pointing me the wrong direction. I ain't listening to it anymore. I'm going this way. Okay, is this it? Maybe. Hey, how you doing? Are we here? Oh, cereal. Mine. Oh, there's something else on the table too. Move. Insta mash. Mine. Uh. Oh. Where's the? Okay, I'm going back in the door. Hold on. Go back in here for a minute. Ennis's locker. Who is Ennis? Oh, an automatic rifle? Got some balls for that. Alright. Let's figure this out. Alright, I can't shoot those. Hey! Got it. Uh, so my gun skill is still at like 17. Oh, I can 
didn't think I was making that. I can't access that. Can't access that. Okay. Oh, that's for the locker back there. Come on, Christine. Oh, I can hack this one. Alright. Where? W-E-A-R flag. So... It is the A and something else. Blah. Nope. Alright, just back out of that. I don't know what this terminal is going to be useful. <sighs> New Vegas has this whole, like, reload thing. Funk. Loan. So it's the N and something else. Wayne. Got it. Wayne. Turn speakers off. There you go. Engage lock. Is this where she needs to be? No, nope, we need to go over there. Oh, she's still. Where am I going? In here? Down button? Over here. Hey, Christine, come here. Yeah, I'm on. It's all right. Follow me. Yeah, I'm on. I don't remember this bit at all. Like this whole switching station part. Okay, here you go. Christine motions to you, points at the door uneasily, then makes a pulling motion with her hand. She seems hesitant to go near it. I need you to go down to the manual bypass room to regulate the power. Christine glances at the elevator. Her expression becomes worried, and she looks back at you, then reluctantly shakes her head. What's wrong? Christine studies the elevator frame, raises her hands, then sets them down, then raises them up again. She gives a silent sigh of exasperation and frowns at the elevator, and her hand brushes the side of her face, tracing the scar. I have no idea what your problem is. Her face becomes angry. She points at the elevator, points downward, then wraps her arms around her and shakes her head. Alright, let me see if I can find another way to do this without sending you down there. Christine smiles slightly in relief, then nods. She opens her mouth slightly, then closes it frustrated. She points at you, then makes a fist and puts it against her chest and nods. What do I do now? What terminal? This way? Oh, well, at least I'm back here again. Found a password. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Okay. Oh! That's not what I was supposed to do. Come back up here. Okay. Did I make this jump? Doubt it. Oh, oh. There we go. Nope. Oh my god, I can't make the jump anymore. Okay. Going over two hours now. I think once I finish this bit, I might wrap the stream up there. Put quite a bit of time into dead money. Finish it up. Uh, well, no string tomorrow. Finishing up on Tuesday. Which is not tomorrow, but the day after. Alright, this one. Uh, in case of emergencies, power regulation procedures can be carried out from this station. However, this practice is not recommended for regular use. Please see your supervisor concerning whether use of this station is warranted. Transfer control to this station. Okay. 
Hey, Garp. Where'd she go? Where did she go? There she is. Hello. Here you go. Uh, I found a way to do the bypass from here. You should be able to use the terminal over there. Christine nods gratefully. She glances in the direction of the terminal, looks at you, smile, gives a thumbs up. I've got like seven emails from work just then that I really have to deal with. So I'll have to wrap it up here anyway. Uh, are you going to be okay here? She nods, the gestures at your hand, offers hers. Take her hand. She holds it, meeting your eyes intently for a few moments. She gives your hand a gentle squeeze, then releases it and smiles slightly. She's just being nice because my guy's nose is going to poke her eyes out. Even though she's that far away. We'll get through this. She narrows her eyes, determined, and gives a last nod. You have lost Christine's signal interference perk. The bell tower. That's right. where you'll trigger the gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll just get out of this room quickly, and then I'll wrap the stream up. And if Kendall's still streaming, we'll raid him. Let's go back through this. Over there. Alright. Oh. I don't want to go through as much. Oh, there we go. Phew. Got it. Thought I was gonna die then, honestly. Alright, this is where I'll wrap the stream up, right here. Alright, hope you enjoyed the first half of Dead Money. We'll do the other half in two days from now. Let me see if Kendall's still up. He is, that's good. Alright, give me a second. Okay. Open this up. We'll get the, the raid going. Uh, create a dashboard. Stream manager. Raid channel. There he is. Start raid. Alright, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.